Dogs. You, know, you watch Kristen Maloney on floor for UCLA and you just can't help but marvel at what she has endured to be here. She makes this look easy. Double layout. Wow. You know what's so amazing about her is that she only tumbles about every week to week and a half. She literally missed two seasons with leg injuries and the impact of just that landing on the double layout. You wonder how she's been able to come back from it. Beautiful whip double pike. Kristen had multiple surgeries during those two years out from gymnastics. Came back to help the Bruins defend their title last year. Not only is she flawless on floor, Amanda, but she's even increased the difficulty of her last pass. Getting ready for that last pass. a very difficult triple full. Looking to get all three twists completely around. Wow. Couldn't have done it per more perfect. It's difficult to imagine being able to have that much endurance when you train once every week and a half. What a great job for UCLA on the floor. Quite a boost Krista Maloney has given the Bruins. Take another look at her second tumbling pass, whip back right to a double pike, perfect form, and a gorgeous landing. And of course, the last tumbling pass, very difficult, triple full, done perfectly. And perfect being the operative word, Amanda, the judges agree. Kristen Maloney is worth a 10, our first perfect score of this year's nationals. Now, if you happen to be in the market for someone who's experienced all the highs and lows of gymnastics, here you have Kristen Maloney. She sat out injured. She's won two team titles, two individual titles, and she's got no bigger fan than her coach. Kristen Maloney is a living legend. She is a legend in our sport. I think that she's the legend in collegiate gymnastics right now. She has accomplished everything there is to accomplish in the international scene, the US scene, the collegiate scene. A day does not go by that I just am not openly thankful for having her on our team. She added two more titles this year and brought down the house on vault with the Yurchenko double fold. I did it a few times in the gym during the year. That was the only other vault that I competed really well in the past, so I just decided to go all out. <laughs> I love that. Ho hum. That was just the only other vault I had. Like it was a front handspring. Very rarely will you see that in college competition. Maloney will not take that risk here in team finals. She's already earned one perfect 10. This is a 10-0 start value, although much simpler for her. Yurchenko full, a little off on the landing, but it's still gonna be a big score for UCLA. Must be hard to control after doing a double, but mom and dad, Linda and Richard, giving their signals of approval. Not a 10, but close. Overall, though, UCLA, fantastic. Can Bruin senior Krista Maloney hold off the charge of the young and hungry Georgia squad? On March 6th, at home against Florida, Kristen received a 10 on bars, making her the first Bruin to ever get a perfect score on every single event. She went 10-0 on vault last year and in 2001 achieved perfection on beam and floor. Been a very nice routine so far, hitting all those important handstands. She gets ready for a dismount. Full twisting double back, excellent. That is the kind of routine UCLA needed. You cannot stick a landing any better than Kristen Maloney just did. Let's take another look at her dismount. Full twisting double back, and again, right there, her feet do not move. Generates so much momentum on the dismount, and generating a little momentum now for the Bruins with a 9-9. The three peak dream alive. Kristen Maloney, the final competitor in these nationals for UCLA, and her final routine as a Bruin. Well, there's nobody better to anchor this event than Kristen Maloney. She's consistent, she's aggressive. Val Condos Field insists if Kristen Maloney has groupies, she's the first one in line. Gainer full off the side, perfect landing. What a great way for Kristen to finish. Go, 
a 9-9-2-5 to close out Kristen Maloney's career. Unfortunately, too little, too late. UCLA 